Hello and welcome to the Warhammer Workshop Warhammer Fest 2022 uh, preview review for the third day. It's th this is the second most important day for me. Yep. So I was very excited and I was both disappointed and absolutely not disappointed. <laughs> I had expectations. I was super confident in my <laughs> predictions. And they did not happen in the way I planned. I'm joined by Amy. Amy, uh, -huh. uh yeah. Yeah. Review, review. Yeah, you I were you name. were wrong, and yet almost right. Very strange. Um, I I hit a bullseye on the neighbor's target. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I did manage to not realize that they did not have the Underworlds logo on the preview. I my head said box games and I was like ah, ha, ha, ha. and then they were like well we're all done here and I was like ah I knew that the Underworlds logo was not there but I think I put too much faith in the um the banners and sure. there were two banners that looked like Sylvaneth things so I thought well one of them's going to be Age of Sigmar yeah. and we got that we did and the other one's going to be Underworlds nope. and I was Wrong. not correct all right but let's talk about what we did get for previews yes so stuff. uh started off strong and unexpected I'm going to go ahead and say we did get the new uh the the next the, the next quarterly iteration of Kill Team uh Kill Team Morok <laughs> which so um, I just realized that Morak is Morak. Yeah. Yeah. It's I feel that's what orcs call each other. <laughs> um so as we know we get two kill teams and a bunch of terrain, which is not new terrain, but cool terrain. And terrain I don't have. So like That is the important part. And I've never seen it configured like that. No, no. It it's also a lot more massive than I Gave it credit the first time I saw it. Mm -hmm. uh, very excited to get the terrain. Yeah. That is that is the first thing I'm going to paint <laughs> out of that box. It may also be the only thing. So uh, they're teeny tiny in this picture, but we can see. So unexpected. This was very unexpected to me. Um, we got Trader Guard. Yeah, now, it came out of left field. Yeah, right? Like, very, very strange. So now, um, these two fellows in the middle, the uh, the Traitor Inquisitor and the Ogren, they are from Blackstone Fortress, originally. Uh, people have spent an awful lot of money for that box to get these two miniatures, so <laughs> I bet they're feeling great right now. I I bought that box, but not specifically for no. the miniatures. No. Um, you bought it because you're a completionist. Yes, and I wanted to get all the Blackstone Fortress stuff before it went out of print. Exactly. Because I came into the game late. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so these guys are all pretty cool. Um, as they said in the preview, there's a uh, hatchet guy here is definitely having the best time. Just... I mean, someone needs to be enjoying themselves. Yeah. I mean, that's. I, I feel like orcs would look at him and see respect. Because he's having a good time. Mm -hmm. Now, he's of course, got choppers. Yeah. Now, uh, of course, we need someone for them to fight, and for better or worse, uh, it's Space Marines. Now, I will say, as far as Space Marines go, these are some pretty cool looking ones. This is mm -hmm. a you've got uh, Phobos the Great Fox team. dabbing. He is he is kind of dabbing. Um, I thought he was looking at his Fitbit, seeing how many more steps he had to take. Uh, there's a servo skull, which is always A plus to me. Um, we've got smoke grenade. We have a guy holding a S knife. Smoke grenade dude came to grenade things. He did. He's got like, most of them have a strap of grenade. He's got two. He is here for it. Um, and then, you know, the guy that brought a knife to a gunfight. Um, well, so he brought a knife and a gun. He did. He did. So, like, they are, they are space marines, but they're at least dynamic space marines. So, if one were say, I mean, as far as kill teams go, that's pretty good, as opposed to your your bog standard dudes. And 
in in Games Workshop's defense, as much as every time Space Marines are brought up, I go, oh, more Space Marines. Yeah. This is the first time that we're getting a Kill Team specific Space yes. Marine kit. Yes. So, eh, I, I, it's it took him four boxes to get there. <laughs> yes. I, I, I guess it, it would be hypocritical of me to complain. Yep. I, I like this box on an aesthetic level. Like, mm -hmm. I like the guards from an aesthetic level, but they're not my jam as far as play, playing is concerned. And yeah. I will be painting some of the traitor guards that came with Blackstorm Fortress for the game. So, yeah, no, very excited because I get a break. Yeah. All the other Kill Team boxes have all contained wall-to-wall -wall things I wanted. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nice to get a quarter where I can just Catch not... Up invest myself in kill in, in more kill team i'll do the terrain and that'll, yeah. that'll be it i'll be fine um yeah so the the trader guard are called the blooded kill team um and then as i said we have the phobos strike team the interesting thing um so in the stream they pointed out that that trader guard if you are running a bunch of cultists those models would look pretty good as cultists now traditionally all of the models that we get in a kill team box we do get 40k rules for and nowhere have they mentioned that this is going to be in the Chaos Codex. So but that's, they haven't said it won't be. They haven't. They have not. But I, 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 I was having a conversation on Twitter that, and the person was like, "I feel like they would have mentioned it," and I, I agree, but also I, I I'm not entirely uh, surprised yeah. that they didn't. Um. I mean, there are 40k rules for those two from Blackstone Fortress, because most sure. things from Blackstone Fortress do have 40k rules. Do they have updated 40k rules? Or I do they have 8th edition know. 40k rules? I think they have 8th edition, but mm. they weren't really they weren't really inserted into the game in a way that was balanced or unbalanced. They're just there. Yeah, I mean, I'm still waiting for my Gellerpox infected to get upgraded, but... Ah, mm. uh, here we yeah. are. Next up on the list was something that, like, Adam hyped up yesterday. Way, I, I feel like way more than it needed to be. Um, we're going to Middle Earth, and uh, we got bears. It's Grim Bairn and the Bairnings. Um, Bairnings? <laughs> I don't know. It's B B E O R N I N G S. Yeah. I feel like someone phoned it in. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tolkien. It was Tolkien, but yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah. This is for the Defense of the North book that's coming out shortly. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's a he's a skin changer that can turn into a bear. So he can be handsome hipster or bear. And uh, he's got a bunch of friends that make and sell uh, beard oil in their in their spare time. I have a feeling that they will not shut up about IPAs. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. And um, when they say defense of the North, they clearly they're clearly talking about Portland, Oregon. <laughs> that's probably like, true. very specifically. Um, and and um, that that was it for Miller, and that's fine. Like I I I'm psyched that people have it. I know a, I know I know one person. I know one person that is always excited when there's new Middle Earth models. Um, the, the Middle Earth people are like the Blood Bowl people. Yeah. They're extremely excited about whatever they get. Yep. They play and enjoy their game fanatically, and that is cool. Um, I've never gotten into it. I tried yeah. getting into Blood Bowl at a certain point, but I played in a league and just everybody was just trouncing me all the time. Mm -hmm. So it got very boring very quick. Yep. Um, that's because I'm not good, not because <laughs> of anything else. I, I know where the blame lays, sure. but whatever. So, I, uh, I mean, it's... It's good. I'm happy cool for them. Model. If you're psyched about this model, I am psyched on your behalf. Like, I'm, yes. I'm excited for I you. I am happy for you. Um, the next announcement... I feel like was was a surprise, but not a surprise, but also made a lot of people happy. It's squat, 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 squats for yeah. Necromunda. And that's the thing, right? There, these are squats, mm -hmm. not League, League of, of Votan. Votan. They're League of Votan um, aesthetics. Yeah, 
But this is a group of the League of Votan that was hired to help rebuild Necromunda. But like a and long time ago. Yeah, because it take, probably takes a while to build a hive world. So they, they've got these big, let's just call them what they are, sand crawlers from Star, Star Wars. Yeah. And they, they hang around the ash wastes and those, and uh, they, they help rebuild Necromunda. But they've been separated from the leagues for so long that their their connection has become tenuous. Mm -hmm. uh, they still have a connection, some sort of connection to a Votan, uh, but it's um, I, I guess we'll learn about that in whatever fluff book they get. Yeah. But those guys are exciting they're because. So good. Anybody that says they're just space marines, that's <laughs> very much not. Like, dude, go to your eye doctor, please. <laughs> um, no, so this is great. So I, I, you know, there were a lot of questions going, like, will they be playable in 40K? And the answer is probably, like, not as this. I mean, obviously, you can use models for whatever you want. Yeah. Um, so these are the Ironhead Squat Prospectors. Uh, and as you said, they... they harvest minerals and you know uh, any any resource that they can find on Necromunda um, so along with this we will be getting uh, the book of the outlands which is the next Necromunda book which this was a little confusing and none of the documentation has made it any less confusing um, Here, here's the question I have like I think is the same question you have is does this book can you bypass the book that comes in the ash waste box and just get that and have the rules to play right because this outlands. is because what i thought this book was was here's how you can play the ash waste dudes and also these squats in regular necromunda but then it does specifically say that it includes a complete set of new vehicle rules for gangs including adding all the new ones that are not out yet and i and it, i don't know I don't know what that I, means. I want to be specific because there's something kind of exciting about what they say about these vehicles too. Mm -hmm. These vehicles, in, this includes rules for vehicles. They includes a rock grinder Goliath, a uh, Atlan Wolf Quad, mm -hmm. and a Ridge Runner. Mm -hmm. These are Big. these are gene steer called vehicles, but obviously they're gene steer called vehicles because the gene steer called steals them well, yeah. from the Imperium. I adore the idea of being able to borrow vehicles like that and them choosing very specifically the quote unquote correct ones. Mm -hmm. And it does make me wonder, like, are we like, is the rock grinder going to end up being one of those kits that you can have with your uh, League of Votan as well as in uh, as your Gene Steric calls, like uh, it's it's fun because they're cool vehicles. Yeah, and I mean they do have that same aesthetic as the as the trike does, where it's those sort of rounded, um, yeah, exactly, those more rounded forms. Um, no, that'd be super so, cool. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to know more about this book because if this is the book. Because that's one of the things I was discussing. Like, um, I have acquaintances, shall we say, who are very <laughs> excited about the League of Votan, mm -hmm. and was, and this is my way of saying, "Hey, come and play some Necromunda with me too." Um, because I mean, you've got squats that should seal the deal. Yeah. But the there is a sort of a, a barrier to entry if you need to get a huge box to get the rules. Yeah. But if you can just get this one book and that will be it, like it makes it a lot easier. And we've talked about how books and rules are sometimes yeah. a, a problem when you're trying to invite people into playing these games. Yes. Like it's a lot easier to say, hey, spend $50 on models and $70 on one book and we're good to go. Then, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I know you had your heart set on college for your kids, but hear me out. <laughs> so um, the final uh, the final announcement that we had today was about Warcry. And so Warcry has always been set in the eight points and it's always like it, it at its core was about chaos warbands uh, fighting for Archeon's favor, basically. And then you know, they, they sort of tacked on the other races from the mortal realms. Um, 
But now we're moving out of the eight points. And um, we've got a new a new set. Um, we have the Horns of Hashut. Hashut? I don't know how to say it. But, um, so he's, a, he's obviously a god, as there are many of them. Um, and uh, they're pretty sure he looks like a bull. Which I do like that about Sigmar gods. It's like some of them, like, you do actually see. And some of them, they're like, well, we're pretty sure we know what he looks like. It's cool. Um, <sighs> Wait, have you met him? No? no then, nah, you can't then, tell then, me what he looks like or not. It. Um, so we're, we're headed to jungle territory, which that's fun in a, um, in a terrain sense. Um, the last war cry box with the spider people that had the the sluice with all the molten stuff like that was great so this does open up a lot more possibilities for that kind of stuff I like all of the helmets on the guys but the just like hey I'm a people I'm less enthused by but I was always less enthused by those chaos war bands too like there were plenty of plenty of war cry war bands that are like hey it's a guy that I'm yeah, not well, in love that's with. The, that's the thing. Like I, I am at a heart. I am a Xenos player. Mm -hmm. If w when I do start playing Age of Sigmar, whenever I play, like I try not to play the humans. Mm -hmm. um, so when you give me humans that are not just humans but basic humans, yeah. Like, when you've got pitchfork a, guy. A very heavy NPC vibes going on, <laughs> I I'm not super excited, but. At the same time, I mean, these people have got to be somewhere, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, if and, that's and your And the jam, design for the it. rest of the dudes is really intricate. Yeah. Um, they're just like... Uh, I do like the big chains. Those are cool. The, the, the um, hoof boots. The hoof boots. Very cool. And I mean, I guess you got to have friends. Um, but we've also added another um, ally. A chaos ally. So he could be allied with uh any of them and this is the centaurian marshal and oh, he, is he is everything those other dudes aren't. yeah um he's got four arms four legs and a bad attitude uh a tyranid tail a tyranid tail somehow um yeah love this guy i like how beefy he is right like he's almost like one of the one of the Nurgle guys in build. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like I, huge. Yeah, because usually your centaurs will have a, um, a slight hourglass yeah. waist to them. Yeah, no, not uh, this guy. This guy does not. No. He no, makes no apologies. Um, but at the same time, makes him look so much sturdier. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and like they were saying, he's got very... I mean, because Warcry is very gladiatorial, and he's got all the trappings... Right, like he's got the net, which is classic, um, classic sort of face gladiator. Plate. Yeah, the faceplate, assortment of weapons. Um, so yeah, so that's like big changes coming to Warcry. Uh, they were asked if like the rules are changing, and the answer was, oh. well, we're not going to tell you yes, but yes. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, Warcry is a phenomenally built game, so... I'm excited to see what they do. Um, I have a half painted <laughs> war band for it's Warcry. It's a fun game. Fun it's, game. It's, I have the same problem with Warcry that I'm having with Necromunda in the sense that if I want to be able to play it properly, I need the scenery too. Yeah. And it's not that I don't like painting scenery. Scenery is a lot of fun to paint, but if you I'm painting scenery, paint. I'm not playing dudes. I'm yeah. not painting dudes. Yeah. So it's, it's difficult. Yeah. And now I feel kind of invested in doing Necromunda, so mm -hmm. I need to paint that scenery. Uh -huh. So Warcry feels like it's going to be a little ways off. Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. I'll, <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Um, and that was it for today's uh, for today's preview, which, I mean, it's way more than, like I say, that's it. That was a lot. We got squats, real squats, real actual squats. Real squats and a little bit of a roadmap as to what to expect for Necromunda. Mm -hmm. Good teases for Warcry. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm not excited about Kill Team because these are not my teams. But it is an exciting box if those are your teams. I'm like, excited I know that we got a faction out of nowhere. 
that yeah. was exciting. <laughs> no, absolutely. Like I said, this is one of the things that's great about about Warhammer Warhammer hobby in general is that you know someone's else's yum. You can be excited about someone else yep. having cool stuff. Yep. Even if you're not getting it, because we're in this golden age where, oh no, I didn't get any cool stuff for me. Wait a month. Yeah, yeah. It'll happen. It's, it's... I my my ideal previews are always the ones that are like not stuff I actually want, but stuff that is super, um, you know, super exciting for someone, uh, so that it, like hypes up my hobby engine so I can get stuff done. Yep, um, yep, and this yep. one was pretty close to that for me, so it was a good run. Yeah, so we have one more of these one coming tomorrow. More. It is at an ungodly early time. So us, yeah. maybe I'll watch it in reruns. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it in reruns. But, but it's it's horror Horus Heresy. I am um I don't know how to I'm feel. Not, I I'm not a Horus Heresy fan, but I'm excited to see what they'll have if they're putting a full day into yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Like I'm 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 also not a Horus Heresy person, but I, I could maybe be persuaded. So yeah. <laughs> I'm willing to see what they've Being got on offer. Balls in your court. You've got an hour tomorrow Make before, me care about space before dawn yeah. to, to, to convince me of Horus Heresy. Yeah. Um, so until then, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button so that we can do all the things that a fledgling YouTube channel needs to do. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Warham Workshop. Uh, and until then, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>